In my pile of uh, scrap wood that I had, I've, I've got a piece of wood that it's uh, rotten all together in the middle and all the time postponed to the job doing with that. So I decided today is the day and let's do something. I'll try and make a, I'll try and make a ball out of it. Hope it will not break. And um, first I'll clean the inside and then the bark. And um, I was lucky enough there was no animals inside or anything like that. I cut a little bit the size so it will fit. Um, Semi-rounded so I don't have to work so much. So I, you didn't see it off, can't, off uh, camera. I, I rounded it a little bit. And now I'm going to put a sleeve around it. And that will be the the vessel for that. The only problem I found is that it's too big for my pressure pot. Uh, looks like I'll have to buy another pressure pot. The colors that I'm playing with is red and blue. And I'll mix them between. So it will be like a funny, uh, quickie, uh, schmicky uh, colors. And on top of it, I'll put a little bit of blue again just to dump it down and we'll see how it's going to look like. From a previous project, I had a piece of um, uh, of paduk, a round paduk, or like a ring. So I put it in the back. I glued it with hot gun glue into the back, and um, um, that was my recess. I cut the, uh, instead of machining it down, I just decided to cut off the the pieces that was offline. And now I'm starting by creating. Um, for the future creating a recess uh, for um, for this ball so basically this part here that you see will be um, the inside of the ball so I will be able now after I um, square it uh, cylinder it I will be able to turn it around and start working on the back side now I usually use a, um, a round carbine. Now I decided to do something else and I decided to do like step by step and I'm using a square curb carbine. I'm cutting down and I'm cutting to the left a little bit and I think it works for me very nice. Um, the, the square carbine uh, cuts straight lines and, and it worked. Uh, the round one works but the square one works exactly as good i just wanted to play with it a little bit because it was quite off center and i wanted to see if i can cut it down step by step so i can use both of them the carbine the, the, the round carbine or the square carbine doesn't make a difference for me Before I turn it around, I'm just going to do a little bit semi preparation of the of the of the shape that I want. And here I'll have to make it straight, so when I put I turn it around and I put it in the in the chuck, it will not sit in a, in an angle. Now when I turn it around, you will see the, the ring that I was talking about, the, um, the Paduk ring that, uh, that I was talking about. Let me remove it quickly and then I'll start working the... That will be the bottom of the ball. So 
Here I'm going to start working on the bottom of the ball. I'll have to create a recess. I decided on this project I'll do a, a shallow recess um, and then uh, I'll do of course the three lines that I usually do and I'll start creating according to the to the resin I'll and the wood I'll create the shape. H however I have to say that on this project I think that my resin that I used um, has got his cell by date uh, and, and I had a um, little bit of um, in the resin some area were not like it didn't cure properly it cured but it cured in a very funny color so i had a little bit of bubbles and i'll have to deal with them and i'll deal with them as i get to the to the i'll show you what i do um i was planning to do it with um, uh, uv resin discovered that my uv light is uh seized, seized and doesn't work anymore uh, usually it's happened when you need it it doesn't work so i decided to do it this time with uh, super glue and i'll show you the result it is uh, it's not as i like it but it came out quite good the result i'll show you a little bit later stick with me and i'll show you I had a few cracks in the wood. Now in the wood, what I do is I'm using uh, ground coffee and I, I put it with super glue. I don't use, um, I, I love to use the, the coffee grounded and it gives the same pattern as the same color as the pattern of the wood. I had to put a little bit of cellular sealer because in some places I had some, um, the wood uh, had a little bit of ripple. So I put a little bit of uh, wood sealer just to be able to do the last uh, final uh, 320 and 400 and um, sandpaper. Uh, it will be easier. On this one I'm putting Yorkshire grid and I'm finishing with um, Hampshire sheen, the original Hampshire sheen. Um, not the shiny one, the original one, and it came out beautiful. Let's do the inside, and uh, it's creating a hell of a mess. The wa this wild olive, it's so much dust. But uh, I had to use all the time the full face shield um, with the with the ventilation because it, the the dust gone everywhere. Here I decided to do something new, uh, for me new, as instead of, you can see the cracks, I'll fix them a little bit later, but you can see down the cracks in the, in the resin. I decided to remove the knob, the support knob, with, with the drill, instead of cutting it. So, it actually came up much easier and much quicker. That's the repair that I told you. I use powder, blue powder, and I use super glue, and um, it came all right. Um, perfect, no, but all right, yes, more than all right. 
but next time I'm going to use resin. Um, I'm going to use uh, the UV resin. It will be, I think it will be much better. Let me just fix my light. Wait, 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 there is some more coming. Hi everybody, thank you for sticking around to the end of the video. You saw my starting point was a piece of uh, rotten uh, wild olive, rotten olive tree. Um, managed to clean it on the inside, managed to clean it a little bit on the outside. That's a little bit of a hassle with the resin, but overcame this one. And I think it came out nice. Look at the color. Look at the, the pattern of this wild olive. I think it came out nice. There is some one or two places that I've done a repair, but I'm not happy with the repair. So maybe one day I will fix it. Um, everywhere that you see blue used to be rotten wood. Um, and that's all. Uh, it was a long process, a lot of pitfall on the way, but we we'll overcome them. And um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you didn't subscribe so far put remarks uh, thumbs up thumbs down and let me know and i will see you on my next video cheers